feel like you did it real slow. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, we're uh, we're still alive, and we are back. Hey, we're back. What has it been, like, two months? <laughs> A real long time. Welcome to Concept Something Number 14. Yes, it did take us two months to, to sit down and actually do something. Not gonna lie, I feel like episode 12 we're like we're doing this every week we're just doing amazing get to episode 14 took us two months we're sorry but we're back and we promise this time we're gonna be way more consistent let's let's not go that far and let's say uh come like end of august we're gonna be more consistent okay yeah when school for us starts back up then we can do every week right now we're both like separate cities both working and both working i'm in grad own. school right now so that's keeping me really fucking busy school is dumb dude go i just graduated and i want to fucking graduate again because i'm already not even a full semester in of grad school and i'm done with it dude i'm taking grad cat grad classes next semester and it's gonna suck but, but when, when do you finish school uh it's looking like december 2021 yeah, it sucks. Undergrad, right? Or grad? Well, I graduated with a master's. I, it's a straight master's. I don't get like an undergrad degree or anything. Or bachelor's. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's all oh, yeah, I gotta do some too. Moment of silence. There we go. go. Every time you do that, I get a half chub. It sounds so good. Dude, I've barely been drinking this, this summer. You've barely been drinking? Yeah. I mean, I haven't... Literally, I have not seen you in two months. Oh, I know. Like, like I'm pretty sure it's been two months. Yeah, I think it was like May, mid May, May, something like that. Mid May. Yeah. Then, what happened is, coronavirus hit. And Again. We just did our own thing. Yeah, with coronavirus starting to climb back Come up. Come back. Kind of scary, but I'm not too worried because Michigan here, we're pretty fine. For our viewers and listeners, like. Elsewhere in the world, you might be fucked, but here in Michigan, we safe. Hey, wear a mask. Don't be in Florida. That That's it. Okay. Or California, either. No joke. Two weeks ago, two, no, three weeks ago, was in Florida, but I'm good. I'm Gucci. Yeah. Thankfully, because, like, the place we went in Florida, or that went in Florida three weeks ago, was for my, actually, mom's 60th birthday, like, celebration. So we went with, with like... Oh, what are you going to do with her? Dude, I don't know. I'm kind of... The hardest part of growing up is seeing your parents go, oh, let me tell you that. <laughs> I'm going to start crying right now. I'm getting my feels. But it was a great time with her and actually her her side of the family. I've never done a vacation with them before, all together. So it was, it was really fun. Yeah. And, like, we actually rented an Airbnb on the water. Like on the gulf coast of florida on this place called captiva island really really uh small island and basically all the places on here are mansions and the owner of our house is the previous vice president of wells fargo wells fargo okay so like everyone on this island bro they got some you don't see me right now but i'm rubbing my fingers but they got money they got a lot of money there dude they're loaded so yeah well dude, yeah i wish like the, they're like our the place airbnb we stayed at massive like i stayed in a guest house that had two bedrooms and two baths yeah and with like living area and everything but like the yard bro beautiful yeah and then well, of uh, uh, beach volleyball court yeah had a beach volleyball, volleyball court. court had a pagoda like two pagodas it had hammocks obviously because that was awesome a fire pit by the ocean because it's all like it's like a public beach but like you own so much property up to the public point yeah and it also had its own private pool like who needs to go in the ocean and you know what was also awesome too is like around this whole property they they had a uh, system for mosquitoes you press a button and it sprays everywhere in the property and it repels them like i mean the place wasn't like the most modern out there but it was really nice yeah. For size, it was perfect. But I wanted to play volleyball. If me and my boys were there, we'd definitely be playing some beach volleyball, but my family didn't want to do it. Family's old. That's well, why. I mean, we signed up to do it, but 
only like five people wanted to do it. Not enough people. I would think there's like a, a piece of paper on the fridge that it's like, hey, uh, sign up for volleyball if you want to play, and you wait like a day and a half. And you're like three names, and you're like, no one wants to play. <laughs> You walk away all sad and throw a piece of paper no, that's away. That's what my sister did. She actually created a sign-up sheet and put it on the fridge. Like, no joke. Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, she it. made it all professional, too. But well, it was pretty nice. That, the best part about it, too, is just, like, waking up late. Not By late, I mean, like, 9 p.m. because I have to wake up normally. Like, nine, early. 9 p.m.? Sorry. 9 a.m. <laughs> I take that back. Rewind. 9 a.m. It is real late. <laughs> And just walking out to the beach. It was fucking beautiful. <laughs> oh, you want to see a tan I got from that, too? You won't be able to see it. Dude, you're but still... Hard line. Oh, hard dude, line. Dude, that's... Oh, okay, you want to see... I got a No one's going to be able to line. see any of this, which is great for an audio podcast. My <laughs> watch tan line. Yo, bro. His watch tan line, it's like you got a line of just white, pale skin. Yeah. That's because I... Around like, we've been working outside probably for the past month or so. And I wear it every day, so you know, your skin a little gets a little darker, but that spot doesn't. Dude, that's yeah. Even like probably like a month into summer, so like mid May, even like when I saw you, it was still it was pretty bad. And it's just getting worse. But I don't care, dude. That and my sock tan line too. You, okay, I don't really have much of sock oh, tan line. Not, yeah, that's actually kind of bad. I okay, I'm, mine's not bad. I do have a line, but yeah, yeah. You you can't see it right now, but Nathan's just standing up, showing me his tan lines. Yeah, my brother's like, you gotta even those out, and I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like, who am I gonna see? And he's like, you gotta even it out for yourself, and I'm like, I don't care that much at all, dude. Even and out a tan line is hard to begin with, but secondly, I har- I barely tan. So it even makes it a million times harder. Like, I'm the fucking palest motherfucker out there. Let me tell you what. I can't... uh. You went to Florida, and it doesn't look like you did. Yeah. At all. Yeah, guess what? Because I fucking burnt. That's what I did. I burnt, and that horrible tan line I have used to be beet red. Oh, yeah. Basically, I got cooked by the sun. Yeah, I had one of those... A couple years ago, we went to New Jersey to visit my uncle, and it's like beginning of summer, too. Went out on the beach, didn't expect the sun to be that harsh, and I just got cooked that day. Mm -hmm. And that was the first day we were there, so I was (laughs) burned the entire time. Oh, no. And it was like, it was was bad. It wasn't as bad as like, it wasn't like blistering or anything, but it hurt. Like, I know when I got sunburned, I basically passed out in the sun for, like, an hour. But it was, like, literally in the middle of the Gulf. So it's, like, probably worse that way, I feel like, because there was no shade. Yeah, and... you get a lot of, like, reflection off the water, too, mm-hmm. which doesn't help. And, yeah, no, I, I, well, I was peeling pretty bad. Like, I was probably, it didn't blister, but it was really close to sun poisoning. I guarantee it was really close. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. God. But yeah, I was on the golf because I was doing a charter, like in, in quotations, it's like a charter fishing thing. We yeah. like because my dad knows the guy who had the boat. Basically, he only charges for gas and bait, and that's oh, all. that's sweet, yeah. Which it was Do still it. expensive because the boat got like two miles per gallon. I'm pretty sure. But Dude, like, when gas is this it was cheap. we literally drove out like two hours. In the middle of the Gulf. I thought, like, you, I thought you were saying to get to, like, where he was. No, so to drive to his house, we drove, like, an hour. Yeah. But, like, boating out, like, two hours. We went super far. But even though we were two hours out, it was only, like, 100 feet deep out there. Like, that's not bad. Dude, if the water levels don't rise and recede, Florida's getting real big. That's what I'm saying. Like, it didn't get deep very fast. And, like, all I caught was I caught a shit ton of grouper and a shit ton of snappers. Two of my un- – no, three of my uncles each caught sharks. Two were nurse sharks, and one was a Atlantic white tip, I think it was. He yeah. caught it, right, got right up to the surface, 
fell off the hook. And that one was actually edible and you could keep it. Favorite part of that trip? We had it. Like probably like 20, maybe two dozen uh, fish that we got to keep and cooked for dinner. And it was a fucking nothing better than eating the shit you catch like the very first day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was about to ask if you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no, stuff. we kept. Nice. But we, like there was a lot of grouper. Like they had to be like 20 inches. Mm. But they were like, I, the one I caught was like 19 and a half and the boat captain was like, sorry, no. And he threw it back in. I'm like, it hurt my feelings. But it makes sense because if you get caught with it, you have to toss out all your fish. And I think you lose your license too to charter. Yeah, that's that's real risky. That's real risky for the half inch. Because we still had a lot of fish. Yeah. But it was, no, it was fucking fun. Being on the water for like six, eight hours, something like that. That's how I got super sunburnt. In a whole retrospect, bringing it back to the beginning, I got really sunburnt from being on the water. In a real roundabout way. It's not roundabout, it's just telling the backstory of where I got the sunburn. And the fish you ate. and <laughs> Bro, that fish, so good. Do not get me started. I'll talk for hours about how good that fish was. I don't know how. They were real, it was real, real good. <laughs> we were real good on repeat for yeah. an hour. <laughs> Oh yeah, just ignore. I have sticky notes on my laptop for like class. It is just, just ignore it, okay? It's. Do you have black to white on there? I do have black to white. So I have oh. yin to yang, inside to outside, symbiotic relationship. Works in harmony. Can't have one without the other. It's basically like, for one of my grad classes, for a final we have to make a video. So I'm trying to find like powerful like verbiage to put in the video. In a script. Powerful. You know what I mean. Yeah, like, no, I get what you're saying. Like, like, I'll, like, I don't know. Like, using the simile of yin to yang to, like, what we're trying to say in a video. Yeah. How it complements each other, in a sense. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I was writing down ideas. I'll take the sticky note off the side so we don't have to talk about it. I don't, I don't want to talk about oh, class no, we right should. Now. We should talk about it. No. So did you guys end up using what uh, what I gave you for your project? What did you give me for my project? Uh, when you called me that one day. Oh, it was when, when was it? What day Were we talking about it? Iceland then? Or something? I don't even know, but you just called me and you're like, hey, help me with this uh, project for, I don't even know what class. You know, it's for the scaffolding. Oh, and that's a different class. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah, that's a different class. That was a while ago. That's when I was in Florida, I think, actually. But, no, I, the scaffolding, like, we actually just built that shit right now. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. But. Scaffolding is whack. Uh, it kind of is. But it's easy to build, and that's all, that's all that matters in the grand scheme of things. But, yeah, no, you were talking about the Iceland trip, and that just reminded me on how upset I am that. I don't think the, the listeners know that we were actually we were yeah. planning a trip about a couple months ago to Iceland in August, mid August. Yeah, because so bad. the Ecuador trip got canceled. Because the flight Delta had canceled our flights for Ecuador. So we're like, screw it, let's go to Iceland because our borders were opened with them. Not anymore. Uh, all of Europe closed their borders to the United States. Fucking Florida. Great. Let me tell you what. We're doing great. <laughs> we're not. We're, <laughs> All thumbs up here. You know, I'm doing fine. Like, Michigan's doing fine up here. It's all the southern states and the western states. They're fucked. It's all the states that suck. It's all the states that have ocean it's beaches. It's all the states that, yeah, that have that have beach. Beach. Because everyone's like, hey, let's go to the beach. 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 Oh, okay. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Dude, she's pregnant. Wait, Nicki Minaj is pregnant? Yeah. No. Dude, she's always been. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> she's always been pregnant. Yeah. It has never changed. She's never given birth. <laughs> she just has a five-year-old fucking fetus living in her right now. Yeah, it's every one to her butt. Wait, that's where babies normally come from, right? Yeah, you poop them out. <laughs> you poop out babies. <laughs> they come out from the poo-poo. Mm. But yeah. no, I did not know she was pregnant. Yeah, 
That's not on Twitter. How That's long has she been pregnant for? Who knows? Bro, I need to use Twitter more often. I, I look on it, like, once every two days, and my timeline is just so out of order that I that none of the stuff makes sense. Oh, yeah, just That's so you know, funny. we have a bottom shelf entertainment Twitter account that we created two months ago, in fact, probably. Oh, right? yeah, I think it was that call. Like, like that might have been the call that it Nate was, was talking call, about yeah. earlier, is we created a... A Twitter? We have, what, like eight followers now? Not bad. It's better than zero. That is better than zero. Our tweets are going to someone's timeline. I don't know. Dude, who. I tweeted I some fucking whack ass shit. I'm I have some good thing. tweets too. I've had some in my head that I just haven't. T- tweet them. I don't care. Tweet up the fucking most random shit. It's like the same dilemma for me where it's like, oh, I gotta text this person. But it's like once I do it, it's like oh, it takes like three seconds. But actually doing it is like oh, I got. I have to on. do it. You know, I have to send out a tweet. Yeah, I got a tweet to no one. I think and... I have a good tweet. It's like, hey, I'm tweeting this from my butt right now or something like. I use my nose <laughs> to type this, <laughs> it and just... it just scribbles out or. <laughs> it's like your ball sack or something. I don't know. Just the most <laughs> random body part, forehead. Earlobe, weenus. Earlobe. Earlobe would be tough. Cause we can't see it. That's very true. If I use my ball sack, I could easily teabag. I'm just saying. It's not gonna be that precise, but <laughs> if it's cold out, then I have a little more control. Easier. Way easier. Dude, that's easy mode. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I have some good. I in my notes on my iPhone have some good tweets stocked up, for the right time. Only for the right time. Your, oh, I think you can. In Twitter, you can just save stuff as a draft, and not tweet it. Yeah, it's too much work. I mean, I'll just put it in my notes. That's easy enough. Getting a call. You're getting a phone call. Yeah. Ignore the phone call. Riff. Yep. Riff for like a couple minutes. Oh man! It's oh no! I can't riff for a couple minutes by myself. Oh no! Uh, guys. Please help me. Nathan left me alone by myself. I don't know what to do. It's like leaving a child alone with scissors. You're not supposed to do it. Like, or leaving a child alone in the bathtub. Like, I'm a baby. I'm innocent. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. If you leave me alone by myself, I'm about to fuck something up. And I'm about to fuck up myself. And what else am I supposed to do? He's still not coming back. He's still on the phone. Nathan, tell them I want chocolate chip cookies. I'm hoping they'll give me chocolate chip cookies. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. That I want some chocolate chip cookies. But. The bright side of things. No, actually, opposite bright side. On the dull side of things with our Iceland trip being canceled. Now I don't know what to do. I have like. So much credit for my flyer or frequent flyer number that I don't know what to do with. So I'm trying to next year plan a shit ton of trips with Nathan. We're gonna fucking do so much shit. And it's gonna be a great time. Like in Iceland, we had we literally created our entire i entire itinerary for the whole thing, and spent days working on it. And fucking we got fucked. Like, no joke. Like, it was horrible. I don't even know what to do about it now. I maybe save the itinerary for next time, for next year. Don't know. What do y'all think we should fucking go? I, I don't know. I want to try to plan a cool trip with them, and we should do something cool. Where should we go? Dude, what if we went to, like, you know what I've heard? I heard Wuhan, China has some pretty cheap flight tickets right now. I, I heard that you could probably go there for like 50 bucks for a flight and stay there. Probably, I'm assuming the stay is cheap and food's cheap. Don't know why. Someone let me know why it's so cheap. I'm just kind of curious that maybe I should go for a vacay. Spend 500 bucks vacation to China? Not bad. I mean, it's Wuhan. Haven't heard of it before, but I'm just saying that mm, if I'm looking for a cheap vacation as a broke college student 
That might be the move. But Iceland would have been fun. China sounds fun, but Iceland would have been really fun. Fucking beautiful country. All it has is just a few cities that I can't pronounce the name of, but just the natural wonders of that place is amazing. The waterfalls, the mountains, volcanoes, all that fucking shit. So dope. And I'm going to miss every second of it. Even though I'm not going, I'm going to miss every second of it. Nathan! Nathan, where are you? That bitch still ain't coming back. God damn it, Nathan. Motherfucker. I'm trying to have a conversation with myself, and it feels awkward because I normally don't talk to myself in this manner. I'm talking to the audience. Hey, audience. Uh, blink once if you can hear me. Blink twice if you can't hear me. And don't blink if you want Nathan to come back because that's what I'm doing. I'm not blinking right now. I want him to come back. I'm scared. I'm in the room alone. I don't know what to do. I can't hear him. Nathan! Nathan, please! I want my mommy. I'm a child with almost scissors right now, Nathan. You should stop me before I fucking crash and burn. Okay, people. Listen here. I'm about to fucking crash and burn this fucking podcast. It's our first one back in two months. Dude, I'm gonna throw it to the. Down. Oh, he's back! I was just oh about to fucking gosh. destroy this whole thing. I was about to end it <laughs> right just there. Just toss it. Delete the recording. No one ever hears this. So what did you talk about with yourself? I just rambled for a little bit. I basically said, you're like leaving a child alone with scissors or child alone in the bathtub. Like, it's a bad idea. <laughs> There's and then no I good just talked result. about our Iceland trip <laughs> on how maybe we could substitute it with a trip to Wuhan, China. That's <laughs> cheap. Dude, it's probably not too bad there. It's, I think I looked up like $50 flights. $50 international flights? What? Because no one's going. <laughs> Think about it. Who wants to go there right now? Well, the numbers aren't even bad there anymore. Okay, it's, it's worse. It's worse going to Florida than it is to Wuhan. Yeah. Just compare that. Just think about it. Just think about it. Mm. Seems beaches. communism to me. Or Wuhan. Wuhan. <laughs> Wuhan, what do they have there? I don't Poverty. Know. They got that hospital they built in like a Ooh, week. Ooh, they have the the fish market or the live the animal, live animal market. market. The wet market is is oh. what they call it. I mean, wet market. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Hey, but I heard bats are pretty good over there. Let me just hey, tell you, you know, it's delicacy. You want to know why they call it a wet market? Why? Because you got all those live animals just dripping all their 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 pus and garbage on the ground and. It's, just getting, scaring it's me. just getting everywhere. That's not why they're called the wet market. No, uh-uh. I don't know. Uh-uh, that can't because it's alive. It's, it's alive. Why wet? Why are they using the word wet to I don't know. determine alive? I, I, I don't know. I'm not the idiot who makes this stuff up that's like, hey, we're going to call mm. this a spoon. <laughs> why is it a Do spoon? You? Because it does spoon things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you ever think about just like words and like who's the person who's like that's a chair yep why yes. a chair like like when they create the english language why why do they call it a ball sack like i don't think that's what they call it <laughs> i think there's an actual <laughs> term for that but testicles why do they call it testicles what 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 is Testy have to do with that. <laughs> Test to be ticklish. Dude, maybe that's what they did back in the day. Some old English guys just titling each other's ball sacks. Like, dude, this test tickles. <laughs> that's where the first dude who was like naming stuff, so, someone just tickled him and he's like, <laughs> that was a tickle test. And they're like, <laughs> that doesn't tickle. sound good. 
Testicle? You know, like, testicle. Oh my god, we just... Oh my god, yo, bro. Mind blown on where this word came from right now. But think about the idea of the first person who started naming things. Like, how long ago do you think that was when they first started naming stuff? Uh... Oh, you can, like, you can go on Google and, like, whenever you search just, like, a word, and it'll have, testicle. like... Testicle. I'm just searching. Search. <laughs> Don't search up <laughs> testicle. Whatever you do. It'll have, like, the or Like, it's not kind of, like, the origin, but it's all, like, prefixes of, like, Latin here, and then you get some some Greek stuff coming in, and... It's like the it's like the one meme from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, I think, of like the conspiracy wall or whatever. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's basically what it is. You got a bunch of red strings attached going to different places, and you're trying to connect the dots, but you don't really know where you're going with it either. It's gonna be Love like it. for test drills, be like test combining with tickling and shit like that. that. And then the sponge too, and you get SpongeBob in there too somehow, and it's like where do the pants come in? Wait, does a SpongeBob connect to the testicles? I'm really confused. For some right reason, now. yeah, because it's Google and like, you know, you just get some random crazy dude. I don't like there that. Editing Wikipedia. Mm, I don't like that one bit. Yeah, SpongeBob love, and love testicles. Can, I love how you can edit Wikipedia. Yo, what, I love the memes that come from that. What should I edit Wikipedia? Like, should we do that for just fun sometime? Just be like, let's go to Wikipedia. Go, go to a random page, and just put on like, SpongeBob SquarePants under like. The Viking Revolutions or whatever. <laughs> so your account banned. I'll create a new account. Easy as that. Bada bing, bada boom. And who's fucking fat checking Viking Revolutions? <laughs> no one. It's, no, it's gotta be like some super like. Oh, no one's gonna obviously check this because there's three lines here or three sentences here of information. Bud Light. No one fucking talks about Bud Light. Fuck Absolutely. Bud Light. Trash. The trash beer. Bud Light listeners. Complete Ugh. garbage. Change your palate. Let me tell you what. Dude, I have so much sand in my Coors hair. Coors Light is so much better. It is. Hey, don't if you don't believe us, try Coors Light. Notice how the cans, beautifully designed for when they're cold, the mountains are blue. Fucking best design of any yeah. can I've ever seen or heard of. You ever pick up a Bud Light? Can's already blue, can's but already it's blue warm. Blue. Yeah. What is that? Gu- like, <laughs> how, yeah. <laughs> you want me to drink warm beer and you're telling me it's cold? No. Nasty drink ass. Drink Coors beer. Light. The mountains are blue. If you put it in a cooler. If it's cold. Obviously, the that's, mountains are not blue if you let it sit out room temperature. That's the indicator. I open my fridge, see blue mountains. I'm like, that's a cold beer. <laughs> that's how you know. Yeah. That's I open my fridge. Don't see any Bud Light, because why would there be any Bud Light in there? You go to the store, you're looking at some Bud Light packaging over there, sitting on the floor, not in the refrigerator. That's blue, but it's not cold. There's no indicator on that can. Drink to that. They're just letting you drink warm beer. Because they're just trying to... they're, They're just giving you trash, that's all it is. Coors is high class. That's all I have to say. Coors is high class. It's good. It's a gentleman beer. It's the scholar beer. It's the beer where if you make a shit ton of money, that's what you drink. I don't make a shit ton of money yet, <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm about to be there. If I keep drinking Coors, I'll make a shit ton of money. That's my life philosophy right there. One Something's going to happen if you keep drinking Coors. <laughs> Not sure what, but... My wallet happen. may not be getting bigger, but my belly may be. Aha. No, dude, as long as you're working a job that pays you more than $3 an hour, you're set for a 24-pack. Wait, well, if week. I make $3 an hour, work a 40-hour week, that's $120 a week. Think about this. How many beers can I have in a week To just if I used only my money for Whoa, What was your math there? $3 an hour, 40 hours a week, $120 a week. Okay. Just double checking there. How many beers can I have for that? That's like for Coors Light. Well, you got that twenty for... bucks for like a twenty four rack, right? Oh, dude, I saw I saw in the sale paper sixteen bucks for a twenty four pack. Where the fuck was this? It was I, 
all the way. last weekend. Fuck. Yeah. I would have bought at least two cases. You should have. Dude, you gotta be checking those papers, finding the deals. Bro, I don't look at the fucking papers. I look at my phone. Dude, you gotta be searching the, the web for those deals. Find out where it's cheap. That's true. You gotta stock up. What am I doing, bro? I'm fucking doing it's nothing. Wrong. Absolute garbage. That's what you're doing. But, mm. yeah. I'm probably gonna finish this beer and probably maybe call it good for today, right? I feel like this is a pretty good. Uh, this bounce is a good back. Yeah, it's a good stopping place. I don't know what half that. I mean, you were was. gone for like ten minutes. Yeah, my apologies. Fuck you, bitch. Don't ever leave me alone like that ever again. No promises, but I'll try not to. But we'll see you all in episode 15, probably in a week or two. Yeah, it'll, it'll come out eventually. It'll come out. Who knows when. It right. will not be two months. If it is, I'll let every listener to this stab me once. No joke. So, so you're not going to stab so at all? So please, Nathan, don't <laughs> let me forget it. So, yeah, no one's going to stab you because no, no one listens to this. No one listens to this part. How, I was about to say, how will people less know they listen to this part? They won't. If you comment on the YouTube video of this and say, hey, don't forget to upload the next uh, podcast, I will take that as you will stab me if I don't upload. Because you can't say stab in YouTube, be like, you'll get blocked. So don't <laughs> don't say stab. But if you be like, hey, don't forget to upload. You just do the little asterisk and it's like the action. Like, stab, stab. Yeah. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. Runs to the kitchen, grabs a knife, stab, stab. That's it. Yeah. That's all. Bye. Deuces.